Hey Tingers, my name is Natalia and last week you all decided that I should create another card and also something for back to school. So I combined the two and created this binder here. With these attachable and detachable pockets or pencil cases that will keep hold and organize everything you need to create your notes in this binder. Now you decide what I should create next by voting in the card above. So let's begin. Here's what you need to create this back to school binder. To create these pockets for your binder, you can use any kind of pencil case that you like. Then open up the hooks of the binder, then place the pencil case right into it. Place the binder hooks a centimeter from the edge of the pencil case, then make markings on each of the hooks. You can use an owl or a very pointy scissor and then just poke through these markings. Now take male and female eyelids and then take the male part and then push it into the hole. Then take the female eyelid and then place it into the eyelid punch. Place the male part right on top and then just bang them together. And then repeat the same process with the other hole. And you can of course make as many of these as you like. Now take the binder pockets and then place them into your binder. And then fill them up with anything you need for the school year. Now on the inside of the binder itself, we can place some post-it notes, some sticky notes, and maybe a game for when the class is boring. Well, that's totally up to you. If you choose to do this, put some glue on the back of them and then just glue them onto your binder. If you want an easy way to find back to your notes, we need to create this bookmark. And the only thing you need is ribbon. Now go to the back of the binder, then measure out a piece of ribbon that's 7 cm longer than your binder. Cut your piece of ribbon off, then fold 1 cm inwards, put some glue on the fold, and then glue it right onto the binder. And press down to make it stick properly. Put some glue 1 cm from the bottom of the ribbon and then just fold it inwards. And then leave the whole thing to dry. If you want something beautiful to look at and something that starts conversations, then create this beautiful cover. All you need is ink and a piece of string. And this will stain, so use gloves to create this art piece. Then put the string into the ink and then just let it soak. Take a piece of A3 sized paper and then just fold it in half. Then pull the string out of the ink while squeezing the excess ink off. Place the string inside the folded paper in whatever kind of way you want and make sure there's a little tail in the bottom of the paper. Fold the paper in half again and then just quickly, without hesitating, pull the string out. Beautiful and so easy to create art. It's such an easy and affordable way to upgrade your binder. It's so cool! I hope you enjoy watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget to hit the bell button below so don't miss out of any future videos. And be sure to check out these DIYs here to get some more inspiration. And I'll see you soon with more ideas. Bye!